three. Get in the action. What it do, what it do, brother iTunes Ra, A1 Live in the place to be. Got the credit sisters in the building. Action Squad, what yeah. up? Hey, man, we are A1.com. Check us out. Get in the action, baby. Make sure y'all tune in. You can tune in on WeAreA1.com, Facebook, Twitter. What else? Man, we on everything. 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 <laughs> Get in action. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Jay Nicole. Hey, man, it's your brother, Atum Ra. Wednesdays, 8 p.m., you already know what's going down. Yeah, yeah. A1 Live, we are A1.com slash TV. YouTube Live, check us out. And what they got to do, Jay Nicole? Get in action, baby. Get in action. Yeah, yeah. Beyonce Noel. From the olden days, you can't judge a book by its cover. You gotta read what's on the page. It's been a long time coming, so it's time for us to stand up and spread love. See, I come from a land of all true spitters. We see you got the gift, but what you about to do with it? You can't stand on the wall and be cute with it. I'm Lilla when he cross half, I'm a shoot with it. I'm drinking almond milk and they don't show me who missing. They call me Fred Twin, they just know I'm too different. I'm spreading love from above and within. I hate when human beings just judge me for sin. If we really come from even Adam, don't that make us kin? But you don't like to see your family win? Well, I'm not the one to blame you for ignorance. I don't know the type of demons you've been living with But please don't take it all out on me I'm spreading the L-O-V in the land of the free To be honest, G-O-D made us all so unique If we all a little different, then that make us more complete, right? Sing to me hey, I want the love from the olden days You can't judge a book by its cover You gotta read what's on the page It's been a long, long time for us to stand up and spread love. Hey. Action one, inspiring Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Yeah, yo. What it do, man? It's your brother, Atom Ra, Jay Nicole, whole action squad holding it down, Woo-hoo. man. And on this A1 Live Christmas Eve. You know man. What I'm Edition, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling in the mood, feeling in the spirit. Uh, you know, I'm not really a, a consumer or a holiday person. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it is something about this uh, winter, Christmas time. You know, I don't know whether it's the music. I don't know whether it's all the goodies and treats that are available. I think it's just a good energy. You know, people have a lot of good energy at this time of year, you know, for those reasons that you listed and other things, too. You know, it's just the energy that I love to feel. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It, uh, yeah, like I said, it's just unlike no other, man. Jay Nicole, how you doing? Man, man I'm wonderful. You know, I, I woke up today and I got to come into the A1 studio, which is always a good thing. But on the way here, I could have swore I seen that boy Rudolph, man, on the Beltway. <laughs> I was riding. I seen a red light behind me. I thought it was the police. But nah, I was like, oh, man. that's that boy Rudolph back there. Man, hey, man. <laughs> I'm going to tell you one thing, though, man. I, uh, one thing I, I'm definitely glad to hopefully be over with, man, is this holiday traffic. Oh, man, it's horrible. Man, I was driving through Pearland yesterday, and I, I drive through Pearland quite often, you know, because right. I live in most cities. So, you know, next right. spot for me is P-Land, you know. Man, that Pearland traffic is redonkulous. Yeah, they don't even don't even talk about uh, downtown. Calorie, I can imagine. Because, uh, uh, yeah, I work uh, going towards downtown, and it's just, like, crazy, man. Man, I need people to go home. I need them to do some online shopping. Hit Amazon <laughs> up or something. Hey, man, I, I know Amazon <laughs> killing, man. I've been seeing them all up and down my street. Man, there's ago. more Amazon trucks out here than any other vehicle I have seen yeah. in a long time. Hey, man, they, they making me think I need to get in the business. I'm trying to tell right you, man. do I need to come be a con- You know, a while ago they was giving away $10,000 if they, you became a contracted yeah, driver. Are. 
Oh, are they? Hell are. I might need to look into that. Oh, yeah, nah, they growing. Need some they... Christmas cash. Is it too late? Did I miss man, the deadline? Nah, man. Uh, actually, <laughs> I, uh, I had somebody uh, drop something off of, at my house today. He wasn't with uh, Amazon, but he, he had a truck, and he just was talking about, yeah, how he been killing and cleaning up. Man, I can imagine. Man, let me go buy me a tr- truck, man. Yeah, just for the holiday. Right, you should. Right, right, trade it back in. <laughs> You say I got 30 days on this? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Use it, use it, give it back, man. Uh, but, you know, it's it's that time, man. And uh, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, everybody is enjoying uh, time with their family. Hopefully, uh, you aren't going in debt. You know what I'm saying? Over you the know they're going in debt. Man, you know, because that's a, that's a big that's thing. That's a bad way to start the new year. That's a big thing, man. They was talking about the percentage uh, of people that, um, that put – things on credit cards i think it's probably about like 20 percent of people are still like paying off stuff from last year uh years that's before that's crazy all for gifts man i'm gifting y'all with me so y'all have fun with this you know i'm gonna give y'all all those good smiles and love and hug and i'm gonna cook you something too so what's, what's the return policy there is no return policy, oh, man, you know. Like, There's no return, <laughs> no returns, no exchanges, no refunds, none of that. Yeah, oh, man, oh, man. You better be happy with what you get. Most it's done. the thought that counts. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, we uh we finna roll into our first break. Uh, then we gonna be back, you know, saying with some uh advice from Jane Nicole on this holiday shopping, man. Cause you still got time, man. You still got time, man. Yeah. We almost there, man. Brother, I tune right. Went live, man. We be back. Peace. Janetta with A1 Live Pop Up here at African Fashion Week Art, Wine, and Culture event. We are having an amazing time. They have some lovely art pieces to see. So go ahead, get down here. You still have time. Everybody get in the action. Action one. Inspiring next. Hey yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, Jingle A1 bells. Live back in this thing, man. Seven days, one week until Christmas time. You know, son, until you know all the little boys and girls, you know, what I'm saying all around the planet, you know, are either very excited or very disappointed. Uh, yeah, you know, what I'm saying based on their expectations. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I know me uh, growing up. I always, uh, always loved uh, the holiday times. Uh, you know, we were a uh, a family of modest means, but you know, uh, one thing about my parents they they made us feel like we had money, right? You know, even though not, right. now that I've grown and I look back on it, like, and we like, didn't really have no money. Like, ah, you know what I'm saying? I had fun <laughs> with that little. Got a got a broke, but. <laughs> Uh, but you know, I, I definitely know, uh, my, my parents, uh, like I said, just did, did whatever they had to do to make sure that, uh, whatever we got <laughs> or whatever we gave, you know what I'm saying? It was something from the heart. Right. And, um, you know, I remember my mom, uh, used to like, uh, and she used to always make us think too when we did our shopping because like she would give all of us like a set amount, right? Of course. And so with that set amount. You needed to go buy gifts for everybody, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. So, you know, we will be like, the, you know, the time we'd be hitting up big lots. So, <laughs> like I said, you know, you go, man, and, I still hit up big yeah, lots, right? But I mean, as a kid, you yeah. go to big lots or you know, where, wherever is your local store that has crazy deals for five, ten dollars, you know, you go in there as a kid with a hundred dollars, like. Oh, you was doing good. Your mama gave yeah, you a hundred. He talking about he was modest bees. I ain't getting no hundred dollars to go buy gifts for nobody. Oh uh, yeah, but I mean, this was like uh, you had to buy gifts for five or six people. Oh, I know what so, you mean. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, and that was pretty much what they probably would be spending on everybody it's true. else. So what she would do is yeah, she would break it up, and so I mean that would be you know between five six people, you only had like twenty dollars uh-huh. a gift. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so. Yeah, uh, you know it was it, it was it was always fun though. Uh, but you know nowadays shopping is taking on a whole new meaning. Yeah, uh, like as I look into the numbers 
And as I mentioned earlier, you see the amount of people that have crazy household debt from holiday shopping. It's crazy. Like crazy. It's not that important. I mean, you want, it's a good feeling to make other people feel good when you give them a gift and to see their faces light up and stuff like that. But if seeing their face lights up stops you from having your house lighting up, yeah. Because you can't pay your electricity bill, it's a problem. Yeah, yeah, man. Speaking of electricity bill, man, shout out to my wife that made me put up some Christmas lights. <laughs> That's another yeah, thing that yeah, drains yeah. too. It's not only the gifts, it's all the other stuff surrounding it, it's the decorations. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Man. So, man, a week out before Christmas shopping. Jay Nicole, have you done all your shopping already? Um, I have done a little bit. I'm not going overboard this year. I have limited by purchasing gifts to only my children. Right, right, right. So that way I will not be shopping myself into debt right. <laughs> this year. But um I'm 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 almost done with my kids. I have a couple of more pieces to finish off, you know, the shebang. So I'm almost done. I did pretty good, I must say. Man, what are some what are some tips and tricks you got for the A one family, man? Cause like I said, all right, so it's it's one week out. You know, you still haven't got the gift you need. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm going to say this. Hit up Amazon. Prime, they are getting stuff out to you in one day. You know, normally we used to that two-day Prime, but since the holidays has been in gear, you are getting your items in one day. <laughs> day so i would definitely check out prime they have something for everybody they have reasonably priced stuff also big lots you know i hate this store but even walmart they have reasonably priced gifts you know if you for everybody in the family so yeah. i mean and, and if any of those stores you just named would like to become a sponsor on action one we are a1.com slash sponsorship. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I definitely know that, uh, you know, uh, several weeks ago we were talking about the whole uh, Black Friday and everything else like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, it seems like people are, are, are getting um, a, a more and more head start on, uh, on Christmas shopping. But uh, they're still, you know, like me, I'm a last minute shopper. Uh -huh. like I'm, I'm just bad with it because I have all these other things going on. Like shopping right. is the last thing on my mind, mm -hmm. buying, picking up stuff, man. So, man, what do us procrastinators do? Man? You know what? You procrastinators, you need to just hire somebody else to do your shopping for no, you. That's man. what I say. No, <laughs> Someone man. like me. But no. <laughs> I'll let do it, all. do it all. No, but seriously, if you're a last-minute shopper, they have gifts at Walgreens, you know? And, and I'm not telling you to go get your wife something from Walgreens for Christmas. That is somebody that you should not have been waiting the last minute to purchase her gift. But other people, you know, they have little stores along the way that are even still open on Christmas Day. So right. if you have gifts to give that you haven't picked up, there's no reason for someone not to get anything at all. You can stop anywhere. Most deaf. And not only am I a last minute shopper, but I'm a man. You don't know what to get. What are, what are, what are some, some tips and tricks for us males for uh, things that we uh, uh, things we could get for our significant other? Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you this. Some adore her advice. This this is this is some good advice right here. Women love things that smell good. Mm. Now, if you're not familiar or you don't know what smells to get her, a woman will always be happy with a gift card from Victoria's Secret, okay. Bed Bath & Beyond. Right. You cannot go wrong, uh, Bath & Body Works, you cannot go wrong with any of those items. Mm. You also cannot go wrong with jewelry, mm. you know? Don't get something so gaudy unless you really know her taste. Right, right, you know, right, get yeah. something small and tasteful. Don't get her a piece of chain. Don't get her a piece of okay. chain unless she like rocking pieces of chains, right, yeah, you know, yeah, then yeah, you can yeah, get her that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, gift cards are always a good thing to get women because right. we are so our, our style changes so often. Right. The things that we like change so often, unless you just don't know for sure. Get a gift card. Gift cards are perfect for women. Mm -hmm. Now, your wife, she may be like, you didn't put no thought into this gift, <laughs> you know. So for those, you should have been shopping much sooner, <laughs> you know. But other than that, gift cards are always the best way to go. Man. Man, I'm always in the in the, in the crazy situation. I'm pretty sure I tell you about it last year because uh, my wife's birthday is on Christmas. Oh wow! Yeah, and then wow. my anniversary is on New Year's Eve. Oh wow! So 
<laughs> so for Christmas, you have to get a double gift and you have to get another gift the next man, week. Man. Oh, yeah, your wife did that right. She yeah. did that right. Yeah, 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 yeah man. You just said. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool, 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 so cool. Uh, let's not spoil it for wifey, but have you already gotten what you're going to get? Ah, uh, I got I got one thing. I got so I got one of the gifts. Okay. okay. I think I, I got the Christmas gift, but I haven't got the birthday gift. Okay. <laughs> uh and then, you know, I get the, the anniversary gift. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I still got a little bit of time for that. Uh but yeah, I, I've tried to get a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Uh luckily as far as it pertains to the kids, uh man. Like they say, not all heroes wear capes. Shout out to all the grandparents out there, man. Yeah, you know the grandparents are awesome. Hey, grandparents man. come through in the clutch. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, my uh, my mom, uh, my uh, mother-in-law, like yeah, they come through. Yeah, uh, come through with the come through for the family. So you yeah, know, I'm a little I'm a little spoiled because mm -hmm. I don't have to go out and really think about what I, what I what I'm gonna really get because I know that they got. <laughs> 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 Ten times over, but yeah, man. Uh, uh, God bless all the grandparents out there. Man. But you, you know what? I want to come back just to the to the gift ideas too, right. because not only do you want to shop for your wife and you know the family, what do you get people like your grandparents and stuff like that? Your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters. Exactly. You know. Uh well, uh for me, um, I, I definitely. Right, let's just take my mom. Like my mom is a tech person. Or okay. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? She's very um active, hands on, and everything like that. She's not really the uh glamour makeup person or anything mm -hmm. else like that, like my wife is. Uh so like with her, you know, I could get my mom like a fancy all in one screwdriver. She <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, happy with that but i i definitely me i'm a uh functional gift giver i try to give things that, that you're people gonna use will actually use yeah it may not be the shiniest or the mm -hmm. thing that looks the, the best but you know something one two three years later right you're still gonna actually be using uh and yeah so yeah that's that's, that's what i look for uh but yeah I, I definitely think it's 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 about knowing the person uh-huh um knowing and also knowing what your budget is, but also yeah, like like it's kind of cliche to say give from the heart, but uh, I think give give based on you know what I'm saying what the person would actually use. Yeah, it's the man. thought. Like people uh, say, the thought that counts. Oh yeah, you know. I mean, there, there's been times to where I've been thinking about more so like what I may like. You know, like, uh -huh. I, think, I think they're gonna. Like I'm gonna give my wife this uh Xbox over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I know she gonna want to play this, even though it's really me. Right, you know? right, right, I know, right? That's, what I'm That's horrible. About. God, stop doing that. Yeah, I told you, I went to no windows and everything. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm about to, I'm about to throw these swingers on your car. Oh baby. yeah, be like Jody. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bring my car back. No, but you know what? One other good idea that you could get um, a woman in your life is like a a trip. You know, and you don't even have to have it set a date set for it because you, you know, it's a surprise. So you could just purchase or maybe like a, a travel gift card or a flight credit or something like that. That's mm. always a good a good gift to give. Hey man, true that, true that. But you know, if she, it's in your budget, say, she ain't, she ain't gonna, but give me a ticket too, man. You, <laughs> I'm just sending you off. Man. You can't go to this my birthday, so you could buy my ticket. Yeah, see, uh, 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 nope, no, nope, sir. I'm coming at security. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not just finna uh finna finna let me uh yeah nah 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 it ain't happening. Mm -mm. But that is a great idea. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, hey, man, ain't nothing like uh being able to gift your significant other with you know what I'm saying being yeah. able to move around exactly even if it's something <laughs> even if it's not anything far even if it's a one night or a two night stay no, sure. in a hotel that you know in in, in the city limits you know right. that's always a good thing too. Now, and, and there have been multiple studies that encourage people in their 20s and their 30s to uh spend their money on experiences mm -hmm. more so than possession I agree uh and so you know I mean even if you want to give a gift to yourself I say give give your uh, self a gift, you know, even if it's just uh, going out of town somewhere that's one two yeah. hours away. Different change of scenario, yeah. uh, and you know, I never really thought about it like that. Mm -hmm. And how you know, over a course of, because I mean, some of us that have lived a little while know a decade can go by like that very quick. Uh, and you know, when you look back in remembrance on what this last decade was like. 
you know, you you definitely remember those experiences more than all the stuff you bought. I mean, think about all the stuff you didn't buy. In the it's past. true. I don't even have half the stuff <laughs> I bought in the past. You know, you, I throw yeah. stuff away so quickly, but it, it is the experiences. Let me tell you one thing that I even started doing, even if it's something as small as purchasing a movie pass or something like that for somebody. Because what I've done recently is I've started going to the movies by myself. And this is something that I didn't realize it, but I had not been to the movies by myself ever (laughs) before this year. Before 2019, I had never on any occasion been to the movie theater by myself. Wow. Yeah. And so that's something small that I do for myself now that really gets to take you outside of the everyday hustle and bustle. And, you know, put wow. you in a different place. That's crazy that you just said that. Like, yeah, in the past 10 years, I can't think of the last time I went to the movies and it wasn't like for a kid's movie. Right. <laughs> so get somebody an AMC card, you know? Mm. They'll go, they'll cho- spend it how they want, but, you know, they may decide, I'm going to take myself to the movies a few times on this. Hmm. Hmm. I feel that. I feel that, man. Uh, before we roll into uh, this break, man, Jay Nicole, man, uh, What's your advice for the, the, the brothers that may be in the doghouse? You know what I'm saying? This, this, this upcoming holiday. What are Man. some things that the brothers in the doghouse can do to get out? I think you guys need to... Uh, First of all, I, not getting in the doghouse. I think you guys need to uh, DM Adore Her Romance. Yeah. <laughs> because we can help you get out of that bind. But yeah. um, when you're in a doghouse, it's, it's a finicky situation. It's depending on what you've done. See, there are different levels mm. to it. You see what I'm saying? You, there are different levels to doghouse. Yeah, he could be under the doghouse. Huh? He could be in the doghouse, <laughs> under the doghouse, in the tunnel, under the <laughs> part. You know, it, it's different levels. So it it kind of it, it's hard to say what you can do. Just know that it has to be something out of the ordinary. Whatever it is you're doing, it needs to be something that you have not done before. You have not thought of doing before. And if you don't want to contact Adore Her Romance, then you need to contact your sister, your cousin, your mama, somebody, and ask them what is something over the top that you can do to get out of that space because you don't want to be there. For sure, for sure. And and if anybody needs any type of relationship advice, how can they hit up Adore Her? <laughs> you guys just go to our IG right now. It is Adore Her underscore romance. And you can just message us there. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Your brother, Atum Ra. Hey, we're live, man. We're going to be right back. Yeah. 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 Get in action. How much this Yo, we back at it again, baby. Get in action. Man can't do it about three. Get in the action. Tell me what is the deal. Tell me what is the deal. So I challenge you today to start strong. Get in the action. Tell me what is the deal. Cause I'm calling for you. Get in the action. Can you feel that? See, I'm calling for you. Can you feel that? Yeah. Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm calling for you. Say how you really Action One, inspiring next. What's good, everyone? It's your boy Jay Noah. And I just wanted to chop it up with y'all this morning. Uh, basically just to say, you know, no days off. You know, it's the weekend. But I ain't where I want to be. And if you ain't where you want to be, how can you take some days off? How can you, you know what I'm saying, rest? You rest when you get it. And even then, you don't really get the rest. Or you shouldn't. What are you going to do to get it? And what are you going to give up or willing to give up? to make that change if you have to change to get it. Everybody knows. I'm, sure I'm about to go get it. Whatever it is to go get, I'm about to go get it. Like, I, I'm, I'm so goal-driven, so driven, man. I, I actually just recently stopped um, my job um, last week um, to go chase this dream. 
um, I want to be a professional bowler and I have, you know, a, a, actually a couple of more endeavors that I want to uh, work on. And I'm fortunate enough and in a position right now that I'm able to do it. And God's blessed me. It's all through him. God is great. Amazing. It's all through him. Just just the, from just waking me up this morning, just give me this mindset and just place me in the right place at the right time. And the, the good the good obstacles as well as the bad obstacles, everything is in God's plan. So I first give it thanks to him. But I'm, I'm fortunate to be able to go out and, and, and live out my dream and live out my passion or at least take that jump and risk and go out and try. You get what I'm saying? Don't, don't ever get complacent. Don't ever get too proud of yourself or satisfied be proud but don't get satisfied man um there's always room for growth and you know if you're at the top you still got to keep growing because there's people behind you still trying to get it but you have to go find stuff you gotta go self-search um but in order to do that it starts with what are you willing to change if you are obviously if you're not where you are right now and you're not where you want to be obviously you have to make a change to get to where you want to be and it starts with you. I love his ball roll, by the way. Jonathan Norman, oh my gosh. It, it, I, I was, I, I sat and watched him for a whole game yesterday. Just love, uh, you see people you've never seen bowl before. Right. And and he's one of my, I've never, I've never even heard his name, but I could watch his ball roll down the lane for a while. How would you describe it? Uh, he, it it's the, the closest person to it, I would say, is uh, Anthony Lavery Spar. Uh, Lavery Spars. Action one, inspiring action. Get in, get in, get in. The action. Hey, yo. Yeah, yo, yeah. man. Oh, man, like like we've been talking about, man. It's a week before Christmas, man. If you haven't finished your shopping, man, get out there and do it, man. If you have, kudos to you. Uh, you know, if you like to give somebody with it something special, you know, A1 got this video on demand platform. I'm trying to tell you. Coming up and, you know, we got special deals right now for people that want to go ahead and sign up early. Go to weareA1.com. Get down. Give the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Man, speaking of the gift that keeps on giving, man, shout out to the homie Sid, the man. Uh, shout out to the big homie and Boogie. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we remember when you know what I'm saying they first got linked up yeah. through the uh the A1 brunch. Uh and you know, when we talk about the A1 community, uh, it's strong. that's the kind of embodiment of the A1 community to where uh we see individuals that did not know each other, then we turn around, now these individuals have uh, projects that have taken yeah. on a whole life for themselves, and indie friendly is just indie one of those friendly. Uh, you know, it's a place to where uh, you're always gonna see new talent, good uh, talent, good talent. Uh, you know, it ain't just the homeboy come by my mixtape, yeah. come see me perform, and it's it's hot garbage. Yeah. Uh, every time uh, I see any clips, any videos, every time I go. It's always someone new. Uh, always. I'm always being introduced to somebody new, uh, somebody that we can support. Uh, and uh, they, they got an event coming up, huh? They do. They do. They have an event on the 21st, this yeah. Saturday, uh, 6 p.m. Yeah, man. 6 and p.m. at High Volume Music Live, which is on Alameda, Genoa. You know, and, and the cool thing about this one is they're expanding, man. Let me tell you how. Normally, you know, they have singers, rappers, poets, you know. But I think at this one, they're going to have a live artist. Mm. An artist painting live mm. on stage. Baby, That's see, dope. See if the man, man. Indie uh, friendly. Hey, man, indie friendly, man. All you got to do is just go uh, search it, Facebook, Instagram, uh, to come up, man, go on and uh, get your tickets for that. Yeah. Uh, and, and like I said, that's going to be going down, man. Like I said, you got to love the big homie and Boogie, man. He just, he keep you, he keep you rolling, man. He give you life, man. He give you life. Man. Definitely. Man, so man, Jay Nicole, 
what they got to do on that website. Man, use your little fingers. Go to weareA1.com. Check out all the cool stuff we have going on. You can go to the events page and check out all the past, present, and future events that are to come. You can also go to our sponsorship page if you're interested in sponsoring this show, A1 Live, or any of the other shows that we have on our platform, like SG2 on Space or the up and coming Adore Her, the podcast, which is going to be coming to you guys live in January. January 2020. Get down with the get down. So you guys need to make sure you tune in and get some good romance and love tips and tricks and all that to keep your woman happy and vice versa. So um yeah, and we also have a dope, dope, dope independent music all independent. stream. All independent. Yes, on our website. So make sure you go to our website and, and tune in and check out a lot of the artists that we have on there. A lot of them you'll see at Indie Friendly. A lot of them that you just may not know anything about, but they are probably right here in the same city that you are in. So definitely get in action with that. Hey, man. Well, another week up, another week down. Remember, action, agility, life and community, modern media, modern solutions. A1, we here. Jay Nicole, how we leave them every week? Get in action, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Action one, inspiring next. I think of all the memories and times that we shared The good, the bad, the ups and downs Through it all, you were there But since I can't be around you I'm searching hard to find Anything you left me behind But I
Nice. 